Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer and today we're here to talk about Battlefield 2042. I've been playing this weekend through the 10 hour free trial and I thought it was time to discuss what I like and what I don't like. Hint, the don't like list is way bigger than the like. Before we get into it though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, smash that like button and comment below to let me know what you think, what you do like, what you don't like, what problems you had, that sort of thing. This is not going to be a comprehensive video looking at each bit and going right okay and analysing it massively in depth for anything like that. We're just going to kind of talk about what I do and don't like. They're in some sort of order but we're not here to go into massive detail. So anyway, let's get on with it. Right, we're going to start off the bad list. Specialist, this is the thing I dislike most about this game. They just don't work in 2042. For those who don't know, it's kind of like Rainbow Six Siege. So you'll have someone called Jim, have someone called Bob. They'll have certain buffs, like Bob might be able to see through walls. Jess might be able to, I don't know, have a drone, that sort of thing. However, the biggest problem with Specialist in a game like this is too difficult to see who is friend or four. Without a hood, there's no way to see who's an enemy or who isn't. Everyone looks the same. You could technically have 128 people on the map all looking the exact same. And that, to me, is very difficult. I look for visual clues when I'm playing. If I'm playing a shooter and I'm the US versus terrorists or whatever, if I see a man running around in sandals, in a cloth, and in red or something like that, I'm going to shoot them because that's the enemy. If I see a guy in full military American combat gear, that isn't the enemy on my team. Vice versa, if I'm the insurgents or whatever and I'm fighting the Americans, anyone in the uniform, I am going to shoot. But this isn't like this on this. The enemy can look the exact same as me. I can kill someone and they can look like me. I don't like it all. I think it is stupid. You're also unable to ID who has different equipment. With class-based system, if you see someone who looks like a medic, they're going to be a medic. With this specialist system, because you can change it around and move it and select different... You could like, be like, oh, well, I know you've got certain buffs, but I want to be a specialist and a recon. But then you might go, actually, I just fancy running around for Newsy. You can do that. So I might run up to you and go, ah, there's a medic. You're not a medic at all. So that needs to change. Because you don't know who's going to give you ammo or anything. Like you'd know what the ammo class looked like. So if you needed ammo, you would kind of follow them around until they drop some ammo. Not anymore. To me, it also doesn't make teamwork work. It's you want to make a specialist as good as you can. There'll also be some metas out there as well. So that specialist might be better than everyone else. So when you go into a squad, you're not going to think, actually, my squad's missing a medic. So I'm going to be a medic or a support class because any of your team could be that. So you're just going to go, right, well, I'll have that like them buffs, right? I'll do that like that weapon. So I don't think it makes teamworks or squads work at all in this game or it's going to impact them anyway. Next up on my list is no scoreboards. Yes, you heard it. During a match, you cannot see where you rank out of the 128 players. You can't see how many kills you've got. Well, you can in your squad, but you can't see overall. And that, I just don't understand. I don't understand that design choice at all. Next up, Portal is online only. Now, Portal is the best thing about this game. If this game was £20 and was just Portal... This would be a whole different ball game, but it's not. Portal is online only, which leads to a lot of problems. If you just want to play a single player against some bots and practice or make something up, you still got to be online, so you can't take it offline. It also means that if the servers go down, you can't play. Once if you have rubbish internet, you probably can't play. And there's just so much going on. And also, there's no dedicated servers either. So you can't pay the, say, a YouTuber is very big in uh, Battlefield, say Big Fry. He might have a server run and I'll be like, oh my god, I want to play in Big Fry server because I know there's going to be no cheaters, it's going to be moderated, he's probably going to make it more tactical, but you can't get that because as soon as some, the last person logs off, that server goes down. So you might never be able to find your favourite server over and over and over again. So yeah, Portal being online only to me, I think needs to change. This needs to be bought offline and available to all. I presume the dedicated servers bits may be done for console players. I don't know why they've done it, but yeah, I think they could make a lot of money out of that as well. 
I think people would pay a year to have dedicated servers, even if it was one or two pound a month. A lot of people would pay for that. So, yeah, I think that needs to be changed. We'll cover Portal a bit later on. Also, in Portal as well, one of the problems at the moment is that people are making XP farming, bot maps. There's a load of rubbish in there as well. Like, I joined one. It was like, zombies, zombies, zombies. It wasn't zombies. It was rubbish. People just running around confused. Um, so, yeah. Um, bugs. There's just so many from floating corpses to the ragdoll physics. Especially vehicles when they blow up. They kind of like a bit fall off. The bit falling off run at like 10 frames per second or 5 frames per second. It just breaks the immersion. There's so many bugs in this game. There's walls you can run through. You'll fall through things. You'll be able to shoot through walls. You'll be able to... Uh, yeah, it's just absolutely... It's mainly for me, though, is the ragdoll physics and the, the way bodies interact with things. And them graphical bugs, like you'll clip through doors and elevators and stuff. There's just far too many of them. I don't like the UI. Uh, the UI looks rubbish. It's kind of like cyberpunky, futuristic. But when you're playing Portal in World War II, do you want a futuristic hood? Nope. I think it's far too busy. It's cluttered. I don't like the big banner that comes down from the top when people are taking over sectors. I'm not a huge fan of the mini-map. I just think the UI was designed by someone who didn't know what a UI was. I think it could be scaled back quite a bit. It could look way, way nicer as well. So, yeah, UI to me is a big, big fail. Um, next up is every single map just seems to be a camper slash sniper haven. I mean, the amount of times I die from a sniper is unreal. It really stops that attacking mentality of a lot of people because sometimes i just think myself oh, i'm just gonna go and do that campers as well spawn killing is so common there's a amount of times i've went up on the roof of say a building at my spawn and just an enemy's just standing there beside the door waiting to kill me happened so many times there's only two game modes in all that warfare there's no team deathmatch no free for all no capture the flag etc no all-out tank battles, no helicopters only, nothing fun or imaginative apart from the big battles. Like, I wanted some smaller battles, maybe they just took apart a certain part of the map. Free-for-all, why is there no free-for-all? Like, I just don't understand. I know they keep going, oh, well, it's in Portal. It should be in the main game, and I know there'll probably be more in the future, but two game modes at launch, not good enough. Performance issues, performance can vary mine is all right i would say i know some people are getting 10 20 frames per second you gotta have a pretty decent pc to run it but there is a lot of graphical options but yeah performance isn't the best in this game so if you've got a lower end pc i would maybe give it a miss overall though it's all right but it's not great it needs optimized um additions so they sold this game up to 120 dollar additions and their privilege was like, oh, well, you can play this version of the game. This version isn't as good. It hasn't had its day one patch and it's got loads of issues. So you almost pay an extra to play a worse version of the game. If you wait until day one, you'll probably get a bit of a better experience. If you wait until six months down the line, you'll probably get an even better experience. So they released the game and go, oh, well, it might be fixed with a day one patch. People have paid $120 for this game. Just think of it, $120 to get the like privilege of doing this. Uh, server issues, the first day of launch, I could not play at all. I expect this is probably going to be the same on the 19th. Um, so, yeah, expect some trouble on the 19th. The map and floor areas, or the, the, yeah, the footprint of a map, is sometimes a little bit too big. There's only seven maps, so there's not even that many maps. Unless you get in a vehicle, traveling on foot is just pretty boring. Uh, some treks can just be far too big. I was playing the version of Not Conquest, the other mode, which I can't even remember what it's called, where you push forward and get points as you go forward. We couldn't even get to A2. There was just a line of enemies, a line of us, and we just ended up all getting absolutely killed. It didn't seem to be optimized to let the team get a bit of an advantage before the game and then done it back. It just seemed to wipe us out and keep running from that point to that point just to get killed was getting so bored. It's way more fun in vehicles when you're in a tank, when you're in a car, when you're, well, I would say the airplanes and helicopters, but I find them stupidly hard to control. So much easier on a controller with mouse and keyboard. They can be pretty tough. 
But yeah, my advice is getting a vehicle. However, one thing I will praise them for, getting a vehicle is a lot easier. You just click on the little cog and see if anyone, if you can get a vehicle, can get a vehicle rather than having to run towards it. It's kind of just you spawning it. And there. Uh, um, shooting. I don't think it's as good as the previous battlefields. I found that I also have to be in single fire. With auto fire, I just find I'm firing wildly. With single fire and control it a lot more. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe I'm just a bit rubbish. I am getting old now. I don't play as many FPS as I used to. Well, if I do, but there just haven't been as many good ones lately. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, I think that that kind of maybe needs some work there. And finally, for me, the world that you're playing just doesn't feel lived in. Buildings feel empty. They don't feel like there was someone there living in there. They don't feel like some something else happening there apart from you. And I, I don't feel like any of the maps feel particularly like there were anything else apart from a map for a game. The maps do look good on the whole. Uh, some really nice graphical touches. Some nice brightness effects as well. Like one of the buildings in the sand one. I think it's Doha or something. Has like this little room with like a little maze in. It's all colourful and stuff. So some do look but to me. They just don't look lived in. Um, that is kind of all my bad things. I mean, that took 12 minutes. I wasn't expecting it to. But, yeah, that is kind of all the issues I have with this game. So, what are some of the good things? Now, there isn't as many. <laughs> First off, graphically, it looks pretty good. Uh, graphically, apart from the performance issues and the bugs, I think it's a really nice-looking game. Like, looking in the background and seeing tracer rounds and explosions and stuff, I think this looks incredible. Uh, Portal is definitely, as I said, where this game is at. You can play with classic maps, classic characters. You can play offline against AI. Why this mode isn't in the main game as well, AI is where you practice shooting, where you practice vehicle, where you practice learning the maps. And you can't do any of that unless if you jump in the portal. And to create something in Portal, you have to then log into a website, create it all via the website, get a code, and then input it into your game. It's a bit of a ball ache. Uh, but Portal is very, very good. Will it keep people playing? I don't think it will. Um, I think most people will migrate from the all-out warfare and hazard zone into Portal. And that's where you're going to get people playing. Um, will it keep um, casual players playing? I don't think it will. Will it come up with some cool ideas? Yes, I think it will. But Portal is definitely where this game is at. So, yeah, that's probably the best thing about it. And the vehicles are obviously a lot of fun. And Battlefield is still only game in the world where you can be, like I was earlier, chasing a, a hovercraft in a tank and blowing them up. And that was just so much fun. Seeing that hovercraft come over, I was like, right, you're just going to chase it down. And I was then later on trying to snipe someone just about to take a sniper shot and an Apache shot me. <laughs> and a helicopter just blew me up with rockets. And unfortunately, not many games offer in the first person space that sense of like chaos in battlefield does that very well the sense of chaos is still there overall would i recommend this game uh, maybe in about six months i think it needs another six to nine months to become a good game at the moment i probably wouldn't i'm glad i cancelled my pre-order i'm almost up on my 10 hours and i don't think i'll feel sad i'll just uninstall it and probably pick it up in the summertime or something um and kind of see how it's progressed or when it's like kind of special you know, when it's been out for six months, I'm sure they'll have some sort of special or something. So, yeah, guys, um, that's it. Let me know below what you think, and I will catch you all later. Goodbye.